Is it possible to become a freelance web developer in one week? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you the truth. This is not a quick and easy video. It's not for people who wanna get rich fast or anything like that. This is for people who wanna put in the work and then wanna become a freelance web developer. I'm gonna give you the process, the structure that you need to become a freelance web developer. And I'm gonna answer the question, if it's possible to do this in one week, and the answer may surprise you. So why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, I've actually been freelancing since 2008, and I've helped over 700 people to get started as freelancers and agency owners. So before we get into the content, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon to get future updates on my freelance web development videos. So the first thing you're gonna need to become a freelance web developer, especially if you wanna do it in a week, is sales. You need to learn not just how to get leads, but how to actually close the leads, how to get people to pay you money and how to make it so it's enough money so you're happy and it's worth it doing full-time, doing freelancing or running an agency full-time. If they're not paying you enough, it is going to be very difficult to quit your job eventually because you're going to be stuck doing very cheap projects and you'll never have enough money to justify quitting your job. So the second thing that's necessary to become a freelance web developer is project management. When you have clients, when you close clients, you're going to have to deal with them and you're going to have to manage how much they pay you for every minute extra work that you do for them and to make sure that they're happy and they're getting what they've paid for, what they think that they've agreed to do and what you know that they've agreed to do and what it says in the contract, right? So managing the project, making sure the expectations are met, making sure the developers or yourself, if you're a freelancer, do it and it's done on time and it's done properly following the process that you've determined in the past. So the next part that you need to become a freelance web developer is scoping. You need to be able to scope projects to make sure that you charge enough money, preferably upfront, or if you do hourly to give them an estimate. If you do scoping right, you'll be able to charge more. If you do scoping wrong, you won't be able to charge enough money where it's worthwhile. You'll be working for free for a client at a certain point because the scoping was done incorrectly and the client refuses to pay more for the project, even though it's more work. So scoping has to be done right or it has to be set right with the expectations where you do extra work, which results in getting paid more. So the next thing you need to become a freelance web developer is hiring. You don't want to be freelancing and doing the technical work for ever yourself because it's not scalable. You're going to hit a ceiling where you no longer can grow because you're just alone doing all the work. So you're going to have to turn your freelancing career into an agency. It is absolutely crucial to hire from the most simple tasks in the beginning onwards to the more complicated tasks when your revenue grows. Very important part of becoming a freelance web developer is lead generation. Now I have a whole playlist with videos in the description that you have to go see if you wanna get good at lead generation. You need to be getting people on calls, on sales calls, to be able to grow your freelancing or agency business. And to do this, you need to have lead generation in place. To do this, we use freelancing platforms because they're the easiest way to get started. You don't need websites, complicated funnels, or anything like that. You need freelancing platforms to get started. So my videos that explain how to do this and to get quality leads that pay thousands of dollars for projects, they're in the description on how to do lead generation. The next thing you need to become a freelance web developer is market research what to sell. Because as a developer, you have so much choice. Either you can do custom, you can do web applications, you can do mobile applications, you can just do websites, you can do pre-made websites, you can do CMS-based websites like Shopify and WordPress and so on. To determine what to sell, you should look at existing businesses and you should get mentorship and feedback from existing businesses to make sure you're selling the right thing that's been proven at scale where there's enough leads, there's enough developers, the technology's developed enough, and that way it's gonna be much better to scale. You're not gonna have to test projects, test certain industries if it's scalable in those industries, what you're offering. What you want to do is already offer what's been proven, but not proven too much. You still wanna be in a what's called a blue ocean, meaning in an industry where supply is lower than demand, so you can charge more and there's less competition. If you still have a full-time job, you need to be able to allocate 20 to 30 hours a week, very focused work on actual lead generation, actual sales, and actually working on your business and in your business. This is very crucial early on. You're not going to do this in five hours a week. Don't even try. It doesn't work. What you need to do is allocate 20 to 30 hours into structure your life 
around your business, not your business around your life. Business is not a little sided income or a side hustle or something you try and decide. If you try on the side for too long, you will fail. The most you can achieve in 20 to 30 hours is proof of concept where you can get about 5,000 euros per month so that you can quit your day job. That is what it's designed for. That's what proof of concept is. You're not going to build a seven or a six figure agency working five hours a week. It's not going to happen. As I said in the beginning, this is not a quick and easy video. This is for people who want to put in the hard work. As such, 20 to 30 hours proof of concept and then switch to full time, which is 40, 50 hours a week as a full time business owner. The next thing you need to become a freelance web developer is logistics. Are you burdened with very high expenses? Are you paying off $5,000 mortgages? Well, if you are, I have some bad news for you. It's going to make it much more difficult for you if you don't have savings and you're living paycheck to paycheck and paying off huge debt. It's going to be very difficult for you to be able to start a business right now. You need to have the opportunity to invest time and you need to have the freedom where if you don't make money for a month or two, that is going to be okay. The next thing you need to have as a freelance web developer is motivation. Do you have the ability and the motivation to sit down and work every single day, show up without anyone being your boss and do the work? Most people don't. Business is not for most people, but for the people who want to achieve freedom, independence, they want to achieve a level of wealth that is unavailable to employees. They need to take more responsibility. They're going to have to have massive motivation. That is not just, I want money. It needs to be outside of themselves. It needs to be a deep seated motivation to help the world, to help their clients, to help their family, and basically to succeed long-term. Long-term motivation wins. Long-term persistence wins over short-term shiny object syndrome. You need to know how to learn. You need to be able to sit down and learn difficult skills with limited information or contradicting information or too much information. You need to be able to combine that in your own mind in the most efficient way possible. The most efficient way that I know of to become a freelance web developer and succeed is to get mentored. So if you are interested in mentorship, go to businessmentor.com. That is my website and you can get help there if you're interested. If not, that's also okay. There's a bunch of playlists in the description. Now to answer the question, can you become a freelance web developer in seven days? The answer is you could, if one, you have experience, two, you have a very good business plan, three, there's a little bit of luck and seven days is very, very short term. You need to invest 50 plus hours in, that, in those seven days and there's a good chance you get your first client. It's not gonna be a full business, it's just a good chance to get your first client in those seven days. If you hustle hard, you have the right plan and support. It is theoretically, not just theoretically, I've seen people do this many, many times. It's just unlikely. I wouldn't set that as the goal. The goal should not be become a freelancer in seven days. The goal should be to build a long-term sustainable business that generates a lot of wealth for you and freedom over the next year or two. Okay. You can get initial results within weeks, but the goal should be long-term success. As such, check in the description, watch the videos on how to do lead generation, how to get started from scratch as a freelance web developer.